A new information now. Darien resident Scott Hapgood has decided not to return to Anguilla for his manslaughter trial after all. Back in April, Hapgood and his family were vacationing on the island when they say a hotel worker showed up to their hotel room unannounced and attacked them. After a confrontation, the worker died and Hapgood was charged with manslaughter. An autopsy later concluded that the worker had a lethal dose of drugs in his system. Now, Fox 61's Tony Terzi is live in Darien to explain Hapgood's decision. Tony. Live outside today uh, here at Darien Town Hall where we spoke with the first select woman earlier. Bottom line is Scott Hapgood has returned to Anguilla three times for court proceedings, but he says there won't be a fourth if he can help it. Scott Hapgood, whose family vacation to Anguilla turned into a nightmare, chose not to return to the British Caribbean island for today's scheduled court appearance for various reasons. When the Anguillan government couldn't pr assure him of safe passage and a fair and transparent process, and new information coming to the fore that Scott's life was likely in jeopardy if he returned. But Hapgood's attorney says three independent medical experts have now concluded that his attacker, who allegedly faces a pending rape charge, died due to drugs in his system. The chief medical examiner uh, revised his report to say that the gentleman had two times the lethal dose of cocaine in his system along with, I understand, marijuana and alcohol. So it was thought this gentleman's life was in jeopardy even before he knocked on Hapgood's hotel room door. This decision was for the family to make. Only the family could make it. And they had to assess all of the risks and uncertainties and the future ramifications of this decision. Senator Richard Blumenthal says he's been working with the U.S. State Department and fellow members of the Senate to ensure fair legal proceedings. We don't know what the legal system works, how it operates there, and uh, anything can happen. Regarding potential extradition of Hapgood, a family spokesperson says they expect officials on Anguilla will make their intentions known soon. It's very difficult for them to talk to people because it's not an easy topic to discuss. The first select woman tells us today that another reason Hapgood does not want to return to the island is he continues to receive death threats on social media from folks on the island. We're live here in Darien, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. All right, Tony.